And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Now what? I've gotten very in tune where not only do I realize when I'm going to get picked, but often when, like after that last one, Andrea. So I've gotten very good at manifesting and sort of like, almost like learning a cheat code. It's just so exciting. I want to share it with everyone. When I see people suffering, like you don't have to. And, and the same way when someone Did loses, you say the chill code? Cheat. Cheat code. The same way we when someone... thought it could have a better name. That would be... So it's, it's something that I get excited about and I want to share and my life is amazing and people around me are constantly like, wow, your life is amazing and I want to teach them. You can do it too. It's, you know, and I get so excited about it. And sometimes it comes off as bragging and sometimes it rubs people the wrong way. And I realize, okay, well, you know, you can't fix anybody. Just go, you know, find like-minded people. You sort of have to be who you are. If you spend too much time trying to cater to the responses of others. Earlier, someone asked what's going wrong, and that is primarily it. There are so many people who want to cater to the response of others that they don't have a true guiding light of their own. If you stay true to who you are, and you are just happily moving along in all of your outrageous, joyous success, there are going to be a lot of people who aren't ready to witness it. But you can't stop being it and help them. You can't get sick enough to help sick people get well or poor enough to help poor people become prosperous or confused enough to help a confused person become clear-minded. You just have to stay true to who you really are, true to the vortex version of you, and trust that law of attraction is bringing those to you who are ready for you. A lot of times those people who appear to be envious or appear to not be enjoying what you are describing as their perception of your bragging, and you don't really know that for sure, but one of the things that very often is happening is that their desires are being heightened and their belief in the possibility of things is being increased and 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 in other words if the universe is brought to you together as a law of attraction combining then there is something of value for both of you even if it blows up this is my question I was trying to explain how this situation works to somebody at work because they, she had said, wow, these things kind of happened to you. And I was trying to get her to just want something. And she wanted these tickets to Adele. And it was amazing. She, I, she wouldn't even let herself want it. She would stop herself and say, well, I'm being greedy or, or whatnot. And I kept for probably 20, 30 minutes trying to get her to want this thing that she wants. Want it without contradicting without contradiction. it. And almost as a... Do you think you can undo <laughs> no, well, a lifetime pattern of negative expectation? Almost as an aside to her, I said, I've never even thought about this concert, but I've spent so much time with you. I'm going to win tickets. I'm going to be on the front row. Like, just watch it happen. And a few weeks later, I go to this charity event and their grand big package, front row, floor seats to Adele. And I looked and I thought, okay, if this happens, this is going to be a little real and kind of too much for me. And they pulled two numbers. I didn't win, but those people didn't claim their prize. And they pulled the third number and there it was. And I won this grand prize. <laughs> and because I had won it in such a public way, and so many people were trying to get this raffle ticket, my phone bombarded the day of the show. Who are you taking? Who are you taking? Who are you taking? Because it was this whole big package. And my heart sunk because I had gotten so busy at work, I hadn't thought about it. And I'm like, man, I'm not dating anyone. There's nowhere to go. Like, here's this amazing prize. I wish I had a couple more months to like find someone. And an hour later, she goes on Twitter and for the first time ever cancels her concert, postpones it two months. And I thought, I got two months to find someone. And I started to think, man, I'm getting really good at this. So we're starting to feel like you're bragging. <laughs> There is a point, there's a point. So to manifest this person, I thought about every relationship I had and that moment when it was really special. I, I imagine this one in particular with somebody I had just met. We were at the movies and our faces were touching. We were just so in love. And I was like, I love the way that felt. I felt it for a couple of minutes and I let it go. 
And then a few weeks later, I meet somebody at a Halloween party. And it starts to go pretty well. He says, hey, I want to I wanna take you to a movie. All the theaters are oversold. And there's one particular theater that had tickets to the show. It was the same one. Two weeks later, I find myself in a theater in that same, like, oh, my gosh, I like you so much. And I thought, wow, look how fast that comes. So we went to Adele. The relationship is going really well. And I had felt like perhaps he was vetted from the universe. I told him a kind of that story. I said, you're literally a wish come true. Like I wished for you and here you are. And it was going very, very fast. And just out of nowhere, it exploded. And when I asked him what happened, it was that he perceived not knowing about Abraham yet that I was bragging and that I was getting excited about things that people didn't care about. And I had completely lost the ability to talk to regular people. And he saw me as a liability. <laughs> And normally I wouldn't care. And normally I would be like, okay, but this was somebody that I cared about so much and it ended our relationship. And I was heartbroken. And I was like, why would you, I thought, vet this person that I wished for and then have it blow up in my face? It made me feel like I'm too bright. It made me feel like I just want to be small. It broke my heart. It, and I realized there'll be another one but Abraham, how many times can I fall on my face and fall on my face and fall on my face before Endlessly. I don't want to try anymore? There's no bottom. There's no bottom. Next. And so just, oh, well, and pick it up and try again. How do, how do I get excited about the next one? We are enjoying this unfolding and we are enjoying the response of the group to this unfolding and there is so much richness and value that we can mine together do you want to yeah. I'm willing to listen I'm willing to do the work so let's just begin by saying to you that maybe the easiest way for you to hear it is that your life is happening to you at many levels of your awareness so there are the things that you are aware of that you want and there are things that you are aware that people are aware of you in other words there's your awareness of what you want and yours awareness of what that person's opinion of what you want is and that person's opinion of what you want is in other words there are so many awarenesses going on all revolving around you really around any one of you so you are describing to us some practices of what we have been calling deliberate creation. We've had lots of conversations with lots of people over the years about exactly what you're talking about, how to get what you want, to think about it, to focus on it, to don't think contradictory thoughts about it and watch the universe yield it. This is just law of attraction 101. This is just how law of attraction works. But there is also, and, and we really talked about it a lot here today, there's the awareness that you are an extension of source energy and that source energy is holding intentions that you brought with you when you came into this body and that you've honed from this physical life experience and one of those intentions is you are a teacher to the very core of your being and you understand that you can't teach with words words really don't mean very much that you teach through the clarity of your example and so through the clarity of your example those who are ready to receive what you are exampling can receive the benefit of it. So now here we are having a conversation with a lot of people who are learning about deliberate creation. And some of them are really at the place where they're working on some Adele tickets or they're working on a new mate, they're working on something. And so to hear someone describe the unfolding in a way that makes their heart sing is very beneficial to them. But then it's like, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened. And I'm riding the wave of all of that good stuff happening because while the intentions didn't originate from my observation of something, they originated from a conversation with someone, eventually I started manifesting things that then I began to parlay into more things and into more things and into more things and into more things. And then eventually something that I really wanted did not come about. How is this possible? Abraham, am I a deliberate creation or am I not? The answer is 
you are a deliberate creator and better at some things than others. You have more resistance within you on some subjects than others. On some subjects that you hold no resistance, things come easily. Those Adele tickets were a primary example of that. You had no resistance. You got activated through a conversation. It doesn't matter how it came about. That desire was activated within you. And because you had no resistance, the universe just yielded it to you. Not so that you could show off. Not so that you could best somebody else, not because you're in any sort of competition, but because that's how it works. And so as you identify and isolate and notice the emotional components that go along with the focused components, then you come away with something that you understand. But there is a tendency to look into the manifestations for all of the answers and that's what's tripping you up it's almost what trips everybody up because manifestations hardly ever hold in other words if you get all excited about this whatever success that you had and that's what you give most of your undivided attention to you're not feeding the pipeline for the things that are coming next and next and next and next and next and next and next and, next. and there's a continual barrage of those because nothing that you've ever created is going to stand and sustain itself there have to be more creations in the pipeline your juices have to continue to flow the way that we can speak that to you simply is someone will say to us Abraham I've written a magnificent book and it flowed through me and I could feel that it's inspired and it's just the best book and people are going to love it but I can't get anybody to publish it and I'm not making any money with it yet what should I do and we say write another book well they don't want to write another book they want to ride this pony further 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 we say write another book you got to keep the juices flowing because it's the juices flowing that keep you in that place of receptiveness where you can know what your guidance is telling you and whether this impulse is something that will serve you in a positive way or will be something that will cause a negative manifestation so now we know we've said a lot we're gonna bring this round where it can begin to make some sense to you so we know for sure that you know how the laws of the universe work and when you were thinking about something to which you had no resistance you just applied them simply and it manifested and even your braggadocious behavior afterward was not out of sync because that was all part of the same manifestation in other words Esther was about beside herself when they played what they thought was the wrong cue when it was something that she'd been planning before she came out that was a manifestation that was so satisfying to her even though it was only a manifestation that was about maybe 32 seconds long in coming it still was pleasing so it doesn't matter how long you've been thinking about things the universe can yield to you the factor that is the most significant is how how much resistance do I have going on and the simple fact of the universe is you have way more resistance going on relative to a relationship than you do relative to some tickets that you didn't really even want or know about